Welcome Vintage Gamers. Magic Online has just released their first statement directly addressing win trading problems in vintage and standard queues. Um, if you haven't already seen the issue, basically the win traders would have multiple accounts where they would try to pair up with each other because going 5-0 and 0-5 net a large profit. Um, so they would make a pair of accounts and, and pair against each other, you know, because you can see in the queue when they would get paired. And if it was, you know, pairing your same account, you would know because they would both go off at the same time. If they didn't pair versus their other account, they would um, drop out of the queue. And what they had started to do was make dummy accounts that would <laughs> go into the queue, pair up with real people, not take action for 25 minutes and time out. But during that 25 minutes, the win trader was free to pair up their accounts together and, and generate profit. Uh, basically, they're able to do this because the population of vintage and standard queues was very is very low and definitely dips extremely low at certain times of the day when different player bases from different regions are not online. Um, you can see more about that on my Twitter. Um, but we've been pressing Magic Online to implement a solution to this problem, um, and they have finally done so. Uh, I'm going to go over what their solution is, why it's maybe not the best solution, why it might not be the best implementation of this solution, um, and just a couple of things to uh, why I don't think it's a huge deal, but maybe I like to see a little bit more tweaks. Uh, I want to keep this fairly short, so I need to start <laughs> ramping right into the actual content. So on screen, you can see the changes that are being made to vintage and standard leagues in terms of payout. Um, they state that prize payout is being flattened to decrease the value incentive for poor behavior. Um, that is definitely apparent in the prize payout. Um, there are multiple things you'll notice in this prize payout in comparison to the other prize payout, which is, this is the current prize payout you're seeing on screen. You're losing six treasure chests at 5-0. You're also losing 10 play points at 5-0, and I'll get back to that towards the end of the video. But what we're doing is you're gaining an extra treasure chest at 2-3 and losing a treasure chest at 4-1. Now, um, this was the solution I expected Magic Online to implement. Uh, the solutions I had hoped they would implement were systematic solutions such as removing the confirmation of Q, uh, of, of matchmaking um, or you know implementing if you dodge a match, you have to wait a certain amount of time. There are a lot of code-based solutions to both matchmaking and how matches are accepted, the UI for how matches are accepted. But as a software engineer and someone who's been watching um, Magic Online struggles in terms of uh, pro uh, 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 of, of things they need to do, their workload. Um, like you, for example, uh, many cards that have been printed are not available on Magic Online because they have not been coded yet. And they have specifically cited they don't have the bandwidth to get those out at the time they're supposed to be released. Uh, I suspect that the team itself, you know, might be understaffed, could be underfunded, is also in the middle of being transitioned uh, to different management. Um, all of that stuff you can find online. Um, so I suspected you would not get a systematic change uh, in terms of a coding change or a software change. Magic Online is a product that's at, at a large scale to many users. Making changes to legacy code, especially deep, and you know this code is probably very intrinsic to all of the queues on Magic Online. Um, something that would have to be extremely rigorously tested and retested. I, I just didn't see that happening. That would have been the best solution, but it's not a, really a viable solution for them right now. Now, you can obviously argue that they should be funding it more. They should have more staff, but those are just those aren't things that are happening. And so you can't really expect that to be the solution. This solution in terms of uh, variables that they can change, just you know, tweaking prize payouts is a solution. It, it definitely will help reduce incentive to win trade. Um, do, changing these payouts so that when you go 5-0 and 0-5, you're not getting, you're not breaking in a huge profit uh, will definitely deter those players. However, you know, it might hurt some of your more uh, invested players, players who have high win rates. Um, and this implementation of the solution is slightly off. Um, I saw a lot of posts on Twitter saying this was catastrophic uh in terms of you know cu cutting uh how much pr uh prize payout wizards is giving and that is incorrect 
Um, what you need to take into account is, although it looks like on the surface, there's a lot less prizes. Oh man, 11, you know, 11 chests down to five. That's so much less prizes. However, there are way more players who are getting two wins than they are getting five wins. Uh, the number of players who get five win in a 32, like say you do a 32 player example, uh, is very small. And now a Swiss triangle example doesn't exactly count uh, in this situation because uh, Magic Online will pair people who don't have the same record together. Um, so that's, you know, it's an approximation. Um, but from what I can tell, based on some people who have already done the math, and now this could be wrong, could come back that we need to change this later, is that the EV for like a 50% win rate player might be down 10, 20 cents, not a huge margin. Obviously, the EV for a player who has an extremely high win rate, someone who is going to 5-0 more often, it's going to be down a, a lot more. Um, there are some graphs that someone has already put together. I can't verify that these are 100% correct, but you can see that the play point, uh, this is the play point graph. As your win rate slides to the right, you are going to lose some play points on the top end. And then here, you're going to see the treasure trust EV graph, where players who have a low win rate are going to get more treasure trust than they did before. But after you hit you know, around 50%, you are going to start losing more treasure chests than you, you would not, you would not gain as many treasure chests as you had in the past. Um, and I don't think this is a huge deal. Um, I, I don't think that a small EV loss is going to deter people from playing leagues. And the, I'm going to just give you why I feel that way. This is just a personal opinion. And I'm going to give you the why I play leagues. Personally, I view leagues on Magic Online as a casual matchmaking system. It is in place so that you can find and pair against other players using the system. I and many others don't play leagues with the expect, you know, with expected value in mind. I'm not playing leagues to grind for money. I'm not pay playing leagues because I really want to get that like ton of treasure chests by going 5-0. And there are people who do play leagues for that and that's totally fine. But I think for the average player, leagues are just a way for you to queue up and play vintage versus somebody else who, who wants to play vintage seriously, right? And for me, I know this last season, I have zero trophies. Now, I'm a player who I believe if I were to try super hard and play very strong decks, maybe I would be able to grind leagues and get a lot of trophies and maybe earn money. But that's just not how I view and not how I consume leagues. I play leagues to make content. I play leagues to showcase decks. Uh, to stream, uh, and for me, this solution doesn't affect how I am going to ever play leagues. I'm going to continue playing leagues, and it might even benefit me. Uh, I have a lot of decks that go 2-3. Getting an extra treasure chest for going 2-3 might be a good thing for me. Um, obviously, this doesn't, you know, there are more players than just me, but I'm just sharing my perspective. I feel there are many players in Vintage who are just using the uh, system as a way to matchmake and play games. And that won't change. In fact, it might be pretty similar, or even if you're a lower win rate player, it might be even better for you to quote unquote, you know, go infinite or continue playing games without having to put more money into the system. So that's why I am not, you know, adverse to this kind of change. I would, however, like some small tweaks. Um, I would like to see one, uh, what, what Kellen, who did a bunch, you know, Kellen, very smart, math guy. <laughs> what Kellen said is an additional treasure chest at five wins would increase the value of the EV about to average out to be about similar to what it was before. Um, so I think that would make a lot of sense. Um, someone on Twitter, I think it was Rodrigo noted, hey, why did they take 10 play points away from the 5-0? And my assumption is because you have now removed a, a, an even play point value to enter into the league to help deter win traders. So if a win trader were to get five wins twice on the old system, they would have 300 play points and could enter three more leagues. Now they'll have 280 play points and only can enter two more leagues. Um, so it might be just a slight tweak to generate, uh, to, to help uh, deter win traders. However, like I think I would like to see that pushed back somewhere into the into the payouts. I, I The payouts are really not terrible for the average player, um, but I think they could just be tweaked a little bit to help um, deter some of the negative feeling that players have. Uh, I do think, like, obviously, like I said, if you are someone who is grinding leagues to get 5-0s, this is bad for you. However, I don't know who that is. Uh, I know, you know, there are a couple of players who reached out and told me that they do do that, and that's fine, but 
the number of vintage 5-0s is extremely small. The top leaders on the trophy board are barely cracking double digits. Um, the number of people who are getting trophies is just not very high. I don't know if that's 100% because of the small player pool, or maybe it's also because Vintage is very high variance. Even a, even a uh, extremely high win rate player um, can just lose a random match, and that's automatically knocking you out of 5-0 contention, and, and, you, and that's just happening a lot. Um, so I, I just don't see it as a huge concern. Like I said, I think the, the, the numbers could be tweaked a little bit more just to push a little bit of EV back in and just kind of uh, offset some of the negative feelings. I think that people are overdoing it. It's not the end of the world. Leagues shouldn't die. Um, and a lot of people are doing the math wrong. However, I, I you know, it, they, it's, it is hundred percent true that the EV has gone down and I, for like the average 50% win rate player. And I don't think you want to do that. And I don't think it was malicious. Some people are like, Oh, you know, magic online trying to get more profit. This is their solution to a problem that we asked them to address. I think that we can help change this solution to be a little bit more player friendly. Um, but I don't think it was a malicious change. I think that this, this does go towards the towards addressing the issue of win traders in vintage. And, and I would like to just see it tweaked. Um, those are my thoughts. I, of course, everyone's going to have their own thoughts and opinions. Please, you can write them down in the comments. Um, keep it very civil. Keep it, you know, you know, don't insult anybody. But you are totally allowed to be upset about this changes. And I think that that's, that's okay. But there, you also need to see that it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Vintage isn't going anywhere faster than it was before. Uh, I don't think this is going to drastically shrink Vintage Leagues. Some players might choose not to play as much as they did before. Some players might choose to play more than they did before. I know I've had people tell me, oh, wow, this looks better for, you know, me, who, who might be a player who averages a 2-3 or a 3-2. Um, I, I actually see myself wanting to play leagues more because of this. And then I've also had the people who are like, well, I'm trying to get 5-0 and get a bunch of chests. I'm going to play leagues less. And hopefully that balances out in a way where we're either, you know, slightly gaining more players or holding the, the number of players in the leagues. Uh, and we'll have to see how that goes. And, and if it ends up being that more players are not playing leagues, then I definitely think that an adjustment, like I've stated, maybe one more chest to five wins, maybe some more player point shift around um, might be the best way to just amend the solution. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in Vintage Leagues.